Hey! Hi. So it's the 18th of December, which means I'm going to go see Star Wars. Episode 9, The Rise of... Skywalker. She got it. What? What? The 18th of December is our anniversary. Yep. We've been together 12 years today yep. and I am being abandoned for Star Wars. And not only is he abandoning me on our anniversary, but we actually have a mini break tomorrow. So someone is going to get about four hours sleep. Yeah, because I'm going to the midnight showing. But in my defence, I was a fan of Star Wars long before I met Lauren, so Star Wars came first. Ergo, so Star Wars wins. I've sacrificed our anniversary celebrations and it's going to be really grumpy when we're in London tomorrow. So feel for me, guys. Feel for me. I'm feeling. Anyway, I'm going to go to my dad's because we're going to have some dinner, we're going to have some drinks, and then we're going to have some Star Wars. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm, Let's go. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> no, Laura's just going to stay home and go in the bath. But you don't want to see that because you're coming with me. So while we're waiting for my brother to arrive, we're going to start off proceedings with a lovely coffee from my dad's special coffee machine. Cheers, Dad. Do the cheers. Merry there we Christmas. go. Merry Christmas. Oh, hey. That was Lexa. Hey, you're going to show everyone how you've got one eye? You're going to show the world that you've got, got one eye, Lexa? Lexa? Hey, well, old one eye princess. Uh, are you excited for Star Wars too? It's okay, I understand. Good cutting. Now my brother said he was going to be here at 6 o'clock. 6 p.m. It's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven o'clock. How strange. So look at this. We're, we're eating like kings this evening. We've got fish, we've got chips, we've got beer. My brother turned up. My dad's buttering bread. Thanks, Paps. Didn't want that bit. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 90. Eight bottles of beer. Dad, what? with those glasses on your head like that, you couldn't look any more drunk. You've had like two bottles of beer. <laughs> drunk. Yeah, but look at your glasses on your head, you're like a... They're about a straight ass. So I've got a question about the royal family of beers. If Budweiser's the king of beers, who's the queen? And are the princes and princesses? Leave a comment down below, because I don't know. Do you know Lexi? Lexi's an absolute crotch warmer. She's blurry as well. Oh no. Whatever, Lexi's a good crotch warmer. Through the night, and the boys of the NYPD choirs were singing Galway Bay. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. Yeah! yeah. There's a CD of work. Too high, too high. What? Oh, 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 there's a guy with a cape, but I can't judge because I'm also here at the midnight screening. My dad's got a beer, my brother's got a beer. No wait, my brother's got a beer, my dad's got a coke. And Who's popcorn. Driving? What's going on here? I've got a phone. I've got an empty cup. Oh, I've got a problem. Yeah. Psych. So look, we've got some free uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker cards here. And also, look at this. It's a huge poster. It's really blurry, but it's a huge poster. Look at that. Awesome. Look at this, these are posh seats. I've not been to the cinema in so long. These seats are super fancy. What time to be alive? Oh hey, oh hey, my brother's still drinking. Look, it, it leans back. Do it. I feel like I'm in need for speed. Need for, are you ready? Hold on, go forward. One, two, three, speed! And there's Papa G. Need for nursing home. Need for, <laughs> yeah. Guest blog alert. So I'm here. Um, I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of weirdos here at midnight here, and I'm one of them. 
He's opened them, he can't wait, wait can he? Dad's That's opened those cards. Christmas presents. Christmas presents. Dad's opened the cards, he's couldn't wait. I'll, I'll be honest, wait. Right. I, I, once, I once came to um, screen that last Harry Potter film, and I bought this piss in it. And um, Voldemort backhand pimp slapped Harry, and I had to leave cinema because I was laughing that much. It was a funny it was scene. Funny. It was funny. Watch it back. <laughs> it's like twenty. It's seven. also funny when he like he hugs. Uh, is it Malfoy? <laughs> like really awkwardly yeah. hugs him. <laughs> or the bit where he laughs. <laughs>, laughs. Like that. I'll be honest though. Um, this is probably gonna be better. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I mean, hopefully someone, like the Rise of Skywalker, hopefully someone pimp slaps someone, one. Hopefully someone gets an awkward hug. Um, that's a dream. I'm going to be honest, I want to see a force ghost pimp slap. <laughs> force ghost pimp slap right in the penis. That'd be great. Hey, so, it's actually a few days later. Um, we went to see Star Wars that you just saw on the 18th of December. It's now the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. Um, and I've actually seen the film twice now. Once then, and once again today, with Lauren. So I thought I'd just give you my um, my thoughts on the film now that I've let it settle in, uh, and I've thought about it. By the way, this is going to have spoilers in, so if you've not seen the film and you don't want spoilers, then click off this now, because I will be talking spoilers. By the way, look. It's Dobby. Um, I'm going to start off with the things that I wasn't a massive fan of. So first off, that was Dobby's tale. First off, I thought that the film was pretty rushed, especially in the first 15 minutes or so. Like, that first 15 minutes, it was going from planet to planet to planet to find the guy to do the thing, to go here to do the other thing, to find the thing. It was like that. The first 15 minutes was just all over the place. Secondly, I, I think some of the newer characters were a little bit redundant. Um, they weren't necessarily bad characters. Uh, it's just that I feel like their roles could have been given to already established characters from the previous two films. Like, the completely sidelined Rose, who was a big part of The Last Jedi, she could have been an integral part to The Rise of Skywalker, but they gave the role to someone else, to like Zori Bliss, or the other one. Uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Naomi Aki's character. Her, anyway. Um, so yeah, I just feel like they, they added new characters for the sake of adding new characters. I mean, it was just like, meh, like that. But, I will say that General Pride was a good new character. Um, I'm a sucker for bad guys. Bad guys are awesome. Which sort of leads me on to my good points about this film. I thought Adam Driver killed it, as Ben Solo and Kylo Ren. Um, Every every time he was on the screen, it was awesome. He's a great actor. And Emperor Palpatine was also awesome whenever he was on screen. He was messed up for most of this film. Like, it was something from a horror film. His eyes were all white, and he had, like, half fingers and stuff. It was, it was gross. It was weird. It was scary. So, he absolutely did awesome as Emperor Palpatine, Ian McDermott. He's... He was like fantastic in the prequels, he was fantastic in the original trilogy, so it was naturally going to be awesome in this. Um, so yeah, overall I think I'd give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. It's sort of middle of the pack. Uh, it's not the best Star Wars film ever, it's not the worst Star Wars film ever, it's just slots right there in the middle. So yeah, there you go, brief thoughts on The Rise of Skywalker. Overall I enjoyed it, it was competently made, it was fun. And I suppose at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. It's fun. It's fun, it's Star Wars, so yeah. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Also, let me know what you thought of the film down below in the comments. I could always like to hear other people's thoughts on Star Wars, because I'm a huge fan, so I want to hear other people's points of view. So let me know. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. So I'll see you guys next time.